my location dance. We're on location. We're all on holiday. Day one of the week. It's emotional because I've done my last scene in the Vic. I've done my last scene on the square. And I've got an attachment to the place, I'm not going to lie. It's um, a big decision for me to make. I'm proud of EastEnders and I'm proud of what we've achieved over this 10 years. So to, to be here now on location, on a cliff, I did want an epic ending. So yeah, this is me just seeing Janine and Linda's car go flying over a cliff into the water. Well, I'm, I'm Andy Pilgrim, um, I'm doubling Mick on EastEnders. Uh, my job is doing the stunt side of things, so uh, today I, I did a high fall jumping off of here. With regards to this scene, he's, he's jump, jumping into the water. There's quite a bit of driving that I'll be doing as well. And then we're going to be in the tank doing some underwater stuff with, um, with a car that's gone in, into the water. With the high fall you spend a bit of time looking over the edge, getting, getting used to the, where you're going to land, obviously making sure everything's safe. This is the car that you've probably just seen being cannoned over the cliff, so this takes quite a lot of planning. And so they prep this car in a way that they take out the engine, they remove all the fluids, take out all the petrol and clean it. Windows all replaced with special windows so that they don't smash. And then we have this wonderful team of people who use, have the car and have a cannon system which uses nitrogen that then forces the car over the cliff at speed and the result is what you've just seen on the television. Here we are on location. It's like EastEnders on holiday, I love it. Day two. This is how we roll on the beach in uh, Ball Stairs. Just saving Janine now, getting her out. But I need to go back for my beloved, my sweet, sweet Linda, my L. Ah. So it's my first day on location today. We're here in Joss Bay. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? We're staying warm and toasty while we yes. can because we're about to get wet and cold. But this is it. This is, we are fil about to film the final scenes of Christmas Day. We're about to, it's like Kate Winslet, she's like, Jack, Jack. But we're like, Mick, Mick. <laughs> oh. But yes, there is a lot of uh, Mick in stereo. Although Linda and Janine can't each abide other. each other. <laughs> we love We each love each other we very like much. We together all the time. We do, we do, we do. The final night is night three. We've done the walking stuff, we've done stunts in the water, we've done cars going over the cliffs. I get to see the real Janine, because Mick's been a bit blinkered. She's got this vile speech to me. Mick needs to hear that, I think, to go, oh, there you are, there's the Janine. Where you been, my love? And uh, then she smashes me up the little rock. Charlie Brooks, yes. she's got this speech locked down. Do it to the camera, go ahead. Okay, all right, ready? Well, so I say to you, yeah. I say oh, I should have listened to everybody else. You're toxic, oh, Janine. Right. And you're not. You're perfect. <laughs> she's got a no, no. She can't learn. I can't, I can't, I can't. I should have listened to everyone around me. You're toxic. <laughs> oh, 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 and you're not, huh? You are perfect. We are doing the car sequence where Kelly and Danny, aka Mick and Linda, come up in the car and they're coming up beside me and they're trying to run me off the road and Janine's not having any of it. But she's really thinking, oh, what have I done? How have I got myself into this pickle? And we're on a low loader, which is very exciting. Low loader means that my car is all jacked up onto a car in front so I can drive with no hands, basically. It's like magic. Very exciting. Hi, so please excuse my voice, first of all. I've been screaming non-stop for the last few days as poor Linda, um, so my voice is, is dis disappearing. Um, but it is my last few scenes with Danny. Mick, are you okay? Are you okay? I've actually still got some stuff to do with him in the water tank next week. So it's not quite the end, but it's nearing the end. I'm trying not to think about it too much, to be honest, because I have been crying on and off. It's 
so today is the last day of filming and we're in a water tank so these are his final scenes it's been really emotional actually we're such a unit the three of us it's just like the last year and a half we've formed such close friendships and been on such a journey with these characters i'm just gonna miss our day-to-day -day chats interactions laughs um because there have been many but it's been an incredible journey. I actually feel really guilty. I've really messed it up for them. I feel bad about that. So we're just about to dive into a tank. We did a little bit of filming earlier, which was really fun. I loved it. Oh God, we just do such a mental job <laughs> to sort of get into a tank of water with a car fully clothed. It's just like, it's crazy. But it all feels quite filmic, being on location and Dave, our director, who has been brilliant, I have no doubt will cut this all together and it's going to be spectacular episodes. Oh. Hi, uh, so I'm about to start filming in the tank. I believe I'm going to be in the car which is being lowered slowly into the water to make it look like it's sinking. It is also my last day with Danny. Um, I'm trying not to think about it too much to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of excited about getting in the tank in a weird way and I'll be with Charlie so we'll hold each other's hands. This is it, the last time you see me. Oh. Hopefully a few people will be upset. I just want it to be touching and I want it to be fitting and round off Mick. Action! Get upset. Yeah, I did. He was laughing. <laughs> Thank you everyone, you've worked so hard on it, all right? God bless you all, thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's not more that I can say than I said the other night, Danny, but I know this show has been a huge part of your life. You've been a huge part of this show. I know you're grateful to us. We are so grateful to you. The show wouldn't be what it is without you. We love you. We're going to miss you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day, but it's over now. Mick Carter, he's had a good run. It's now time to rest him, alright? So, this is Danny Dyer saying goodbye to Mick Carter and to everyone at EastEnders. I love you all. <laughs>